Oh, this shit about to open up the floodgates for everybody to just grabbing gaming adaptations. Which brings me to another point. Uh oh. I think I think the superhero shit is it's on, on, a, on decline. a decline. It, it's over with. I think it's over with. Because I was just thinking about it, um, the movies we were reviewing so far and the thing James Gunn trying to do within the next 10 years. I'm really not that excited for it. It's just only because we had like 10 years of Marvel and that shit was great. That shit was like the prime of what it was. Now what I'm seeing is I'm just not that interested. The only thing I'm interested in right now when it comes to MCU, it was Ant-Man Wasp and it was cool, but honestly the only thing I'm really looking forward to is Guardians, Guardians 3 yeah. just to close the book on James Gunn shit. I and probably Spider-Man 4 depending on what they do. With I feel you. I'm I'm not so much on the other side of the fence yet but I am on that line because you know I like Ant-Man and Wasp. Yeah. I thought it was good. You know, it wasn't great. It wasn't a, 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 exceptional or whatever, but it was good. Um... I think I want to wait to see more, like what yeah. is actually because again we still, I don't know, still don't have a great idea about what all this other stuff is going to connect to. So like we don't know what Shang Chi and Miss Marvel have, how how much that connects to the Kang stuff. So like beacons and the, the rings are mm. sending off a signal and and whatever, and I got teleported. Right there. So like yeah, I just want to give it a little bit more time to see if any of it comes back around. Hopefully it does. In a satisfying way, we'll see. Like, but, my, I don't know. I just thinking about this. It was just my thing is I don't think I could do ten more years of this shit. I'm, now, are you saying that because they haven't been the best as the first four phases, or you're just like burnt out with superhero shit altogether? I think we I might have be, it I all know. across the board. We I think I might be burnt out. Disney Plus, we have Amazon, we have you know DC Studios, we got all this shit. We just got superhero shit out the wazoo, wazoo. It's, it's either just, live action or animated it's just one of those things when you get something so great it's it's kind of hard to live up to that expectation so you just keep judging it and everything's just mid mm. to there i don't think anything could be like infinity war like how mm. i felt the first time doing yeah, that like nah, i don't know they would have to do something crazy yeah that's 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 gonna be difficult that's like make it get rich or die trying for your debut yeah. album and then, <laughs> yeah, and then, and then like, you gotta follow up with uh the massacre, the massacre, which was good, <laughs> it was but, good yeah. but it wasn't get rich. Wasn't get rich. Like you, you, you start. You can't. You went through the door with a bang. You're like yeah, it's man. gonna be difficult to get back to that next level. Yeah, I don't know. It's don't... just, it's just very hard to keep up with that consistency for so long. But, but it's not like it's a fail. Like they had ten yeah. years. You, you had ten years of great yeah. shit. I think it's, I think it's the characters actually. It's that too. Bit. Like just look at the Avengers lineup. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. I think it's you know they gave us like the 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 cream of the crop or like the ones that we know the most, and then they made storylines around them and then gave us like just yeah no except I mean it was better than this crop we have now yeah because that's everything the is starting to phase out and yeah. everyone's getting older we didn't you know only original venture we have well two we have Thor and Ant Man yeah basically so every, everyone else is One. dead or moved on or whatever the case may be so now you're trying to introduce characters to people that aren't privy to the comic books or aren't you know fan favorites you know we haven't gotten x-men yet we don't have word on it uh other than that it would be x-men and spider-man which people would and actually be like all right i can do five more years of 10 more years of x-men and spider-man but true yeah and and that might be what, what's missing maybe once x-men gets introduced it could be like a shot in the arm it might mm-hmm. be a, like a whole new section of things that can Maybe we, you never know. Like, I think, um, don't get me wrong; it it can come back. It's just that right now, I just think it's gonna be a drop for like a good five years when it comes. I believe to this that because I mean DC's gotta take their time to get their shit really going. They're, like they just announced shit this year, right? So they're not really going. I mean, they might be able to like stitch together what was already there with whatever they're starting to do to try to like maintain until they really get that ball going marvel was like whatever and i mean those are the only those are the really only two we got that's really doing it and it's a lot of marvel like yeah. like it's a lot there's all the shows and the, the the movies and it's like this is a lot to have to like keep up with and see and the quality hasn't been like mind-blowing it hasn't been horrible but it ain't been mind-blowing mm-hmm. D dot says Marvel wasn't great for ten years. It's likely fatigue. He said after he said around Winter Soldier is when shit got real, and even then most things were okay, like things are now. Yeah, uh, I was still invested though. That's the thing. Because yeah, but, but it was also easy yeah, to be it was, invested. It was, it was the first time we've seen something like that, yeah. so it was mm-hmm. easy to be like latched on and be like, "Ooh, shiny." And, and there's less things you had to like 
juggle around or like keep in, in mind. Yeah, like, that, that's was, that's part of it. Yeah. You didn't have 14 different shows. Yeah. Like, okay, now I'm going to watch every single one of these shows and see if it connects to it. It's like, there's a lot. There's a lot. And that's understandable. Like, that's why I'm not even like saying you're crazy for saying it. Like, I can absolutely see that and feel that. It's like, we, we're going to Echo Show. They announced that show yeah. before they even debuted the character mm. in Hawkeye. And it's like, she was cool in Characters the show. Don't give a fuck about Yeah, she was cool in the show, <laughs> but it's like, to give her a whole season of the mm. show. I don't know. I think I think they're looking for like another out of the box character to actually like take the lead, like the Guardians was. Yeah, like like they're grasping at straws at this point. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't know what because they don't because you don't know what's gonna hit, what's gonna be nah, good, exactly. what's gonna be like that. Oh, that fan favorite or that you know that underdog or you know the what, what you call it? What's the shit? Uh, hmm? that's a word for it. Fuck, I forgot. But uh. Yeah, you just don't know what's gonna hit. Yeah, that's a fact. Uh, Hefe says Marvel was great for like half that time. After after the Avengers is when it picked up. Yeah, like so, like it started off. No, it was okay. Just, well, it was on it the it was on the incline. Momentum. It Classic. wasn't. That's what I was gonna say. It wasn't like yeah. it was like staggering down. It was like on the incline. It was like good. It was. Good. It was. If you if you okay. had a scale of it for like the last ten years, that shit was going up, and Avengers just took the shit off. And then this in shit game, it's, and then now it's this shit is. I'm like diminishing returns a little bit. Yeah. We don't give a fuck about these niggas. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but in their defense, they're not when they, X Men, they not Spider Man. We don't give a fuck about these niggas. That, that's when I'll start caring when X Men <laughs> come around. Yeah, but we, we don't give a fuck about these niggas. Like I just don't. In their defense, they didn't when they started out. They didn't have the marketing. Like nobody gave a fuck about Iron Man like that, Thor like that, Captain like those weren't like Spider Man, X Men, Robert Downey. Maybe I mean we we started with Hulk. And then we oh, had yeah, but like and then the, we had Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, which gave a good performance. I mean, Iron Man wasn't the most A list character, but exactly. he gave a good performance to yeah. to make us give a fuck. And the same thing could happen. And that was my point. Like the same thing could happen with these characters as well. Mm -hmm. We just haven't got there yet. And if we you, ever get there, and then you got the seemingly unknown because I don't know what else uh, Chris Hemsworth was in before Thor. Some Australian. I'm shit. pretty sure he did. He, I'm pretty sure he did some shit because like, you can't uh, just get Marvel off. Just. Foster's for beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, and then you had Chris Evans as fucking uh, Captain America, and it's just like it. I I feel like we saw the actors first. We're like, okay, I give it a try because of him. Mm -hmm. And then the movie was like, ah, right, this is actually all right. Mm -hmm. And then we gave it a chance, but these motherfuckers now was like, all right, who the fuck is this? Who's this Asian nigga? Who's this black <laughs> nigga? Who the fuck is this Middle Eastern lady? Who the fuck is this white woman that's from everywhere? Like what? <laughs> yeah, we gonna. I mean, we got we gotta give. Him, I'm. So like I don't disagree with what he's saying. Mm -hmm. I just I'm just gonna try to give it a little bit more time before I get completely there. Like I'm not. It hasn't all clicked with me either, so I'm not like sitting here like, oh no, it's, good. it's like I just want to give it a little bit more time to see if they can make it a little bit more compelling for me. Like because the shows have been all right, oh, yeah. the movies have been all right. Like I I don't I didn't, I didn't like Doctor Strange the last one that much. It, mm -hmm. it really didn't sit well with me. I'm higher on Thor than you guys are. I liked it, but I can understand See, where Thor one was. Well, yeah. I just mean I just meant Love and Thunder in general. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just meant like I'm higher on that. Like I'm just talking about what the like the yeah. most recent stuff they just mm -hmm. put now. I'm higher on that than you guys were, but even now I'm, I can understand people's criticism of that. So it's not all been super like Spider Man is probably like the the best thing. Yeah, that we had recently was. Um, no way home. Yeah, and then everything else is probably like eh, I like Eternals too, but I get again that's I can understand people not loving that either. Yeah, yeah, it's just a bunch of shit that we don't know. Yeah, it's just, a bunch of just, shit, and then the shows just throwing shit out there have been okay, but like nothing's been like mind blowing. I don't feel like I mean WandaVision I think was really cool. Yeah, even yeah. that took a while to take off. Loki was all right. Uh, it started off Falcon fine. Sword, yeah, it started off fine. Yeah. But like with Loki, I like that. WandaVision, I like that. Uh, the Falcon, Winter, Winter Soldier, Soldier. It was like, I, it was I okay. didn't mind. It was cool. It was okay. It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Um, Damn, we ain't heard shit about that. <laughs> oh, uh, they, wow. they got a movie, they got a movie coming. New World Order. Yeah, the New World Order. They got a movie coming. I just don't know when it's like next year. It was supposed to be a season two. No, nah, I think they're just nah, going to do a movie. movie. Oh, I was just Yeah, he's movie. just going to be oh. Captain America now. Oh. Um, she Hulk, I, I like more than other people. That was fine. I understood what that was trying to be. Mm -hmm. Still wasn't perfect. Miss Marvel. It was okay. Started off really good to me, and it was like, eh, towards the middle, and it was like, all right, this is cool, but my, mm. didn't make my brain explode. Like, you know what I mean, like it wasn't. It's was like, oh, this is cool. I'll watch it if they put another season yeah. out. But 
I'm not like jumping for joy. I'm not like overly excited about most of it. And I think that's the difference. Yeah. I just want to know if these niggas are going to matter in the pantheon of like the grand scheme of what the fuck they're trying to do because, you know, we knew they were trying to form the Avengers when, when we saw these movies. Mm-hmm. So we know the Avengers. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck are these random group of niggas that New just Avengers. got on screen? Like, <laughs> the what Avengers. the fuck do Moon Knight and She Hulk and Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel got to do with fucking Shang Chi and Loki? Like, what is the group we're forming here? Like, we don't know what's going on I like with the Defenders, though. though. We don't know. Like, is it just a culmination of, of powerful niggas well, that, about to fight one big black powerful nigga? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, I want to see where it all comes together if yeah. it, if it actually ever does. Because I think what they're, in my brain, is what they're trying to do and what She-Hulk was also sort of um, showing was like, first off, hey, this is a world now where all this weird, crazy stuff just exists and happens. And like, there's just these little side characters having lives with superpowers in here. That's sort of what She-Hulk was to me. Mm. Like, oh, look, this AA group for superhero or whatever. But there's that. And then I think, <laughs> I think um, they're trying to make different things so like moon Knight, it's, like, it's like quantity over quality a little bit because it, Yo, shit, it's been I, like that I, I forgot about i forgot about the fucking sword and shield shit like nick fury's still in space i forgot all about that shit yeah oh yes yeah, that's a show that's supposed forgot to be coming out soon secret, too, right? secret invasion forgot all about it when's that coming up this year sometime i don't know when though i thought it was spring completely time. forgot about that shit yeah i mean like it's a lot of shit it's just a lot of shit i'm just gonna see myself like eventually tapping in and out depending on what i like but yeah that's what's gonna i think that's here. what's gonna happen but then what's going to really happen is you're going to tap into something, see it, and then be like, I feel like I'm missing context or something. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, well, because there's this whole other show over here that I never watched. And then you're going to like go back, mm-hmm. which is probably what they want. And it's probably, you know what I mean? They just want, they just want your eyes on things yeah. as long as they can. But yeah. they also are, from what I've heard, trying to course correct some of that. Yeah. So I think, especially with the shows, they're going to, I think it's going to be, they're gonna attempt to go for quantity, uh, quality over the quantity. Yeah. So we'll see, but we'll see. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just gonna wait and see what happens and see what comes around and what doesn't come around. Right. 